Currently we have seven water workouts a week. So we swim Monday through Friday every afternoon and we also swim Tuesdays and Thursdays in the morning. So that means Tuesdays and Thursdays we have double practices. Um, yardage is a little bit shorter in the morning so it's not so much quantity as it is quality. We work on a lot of race pace stuff. We go off the blocks, uh, concentrate on technique, our starts, our turns, our finishes. In the afternoon we're able to do more of general conditioning. Uh, we have a lot of more time because we have two hours to get in some aerobic work to build up our base and uh, to get our thresholds down for the swimmers. We also have two strength and conditioning workouts a week, so that kind of brings us up to nine total workouts for the team. Um, currently, they're working with Dustin Melandra up in the weight room on Mondays and Thursdays, as long as their class schedules allow. Those are about 45 to an hour sessions that he designed specifically for the team um, to work on what swimmers need to focus on, shoulders, core body, hips, that sort of thing where we're explosive with in the water. The team is looking pretty good this year. I think that we have a lot, of, uh, a lot more freshmen than we were planning on having and they're all doing really well. So the outlook for this season looks very promising. Uh, we have our largest women's team to date. We're actually carrying what's considered a full roster by NCAA standards, which is 18 women. Um, our men's team is also up roster size. We're at 14 men right now. So it's nice to see this team um, really gaining momentum, uh, gaining obviously numbers, which are so important in swimming when you're trying to fill three lanes and put together uh, numerous relays per meet. Um, so that makes the outlook look promising, just that we have more depth and we can score more points across the board just because we have more swimmers. Um, but I think the outlook also looks pretty positive because we have really good quality swimmers. So not, it's not just about quantity, but we do have quality as well, where we're going to win a lot of races. We're going to show up really well against our conference opponents. Um, I'm roughly looking for the women to definitely repeat at least as you know, runners up in the in the conference championship, but I think that they can stand to maybe get that title back this year. Um, it looks it looks decent on paper, but of course they always have to work for it. Men, I would love to see get that runner up position. We were just short last year, and I think that's something we're working for this season is to really solidify ourselves as um, you know a top one or two team in the conference.